We talk about online content. There's a couple of terms that come up that describe content that's not typical or that isn't part of the mainstream internet. So two terms that you see thrown around are the deep web and probably more provocatively, the dark web. So what are these things? What is the deep web? So the deep web refers to content that is available on the internet using a standard web browser but that is not accessible to search engines. Now you might think that this is illicit content or illegal stuff, but it typically isn't. In fact, a lot of the content that you access on a daily basis falls into this category simply because it's not accessible to a public search engine. So for example, all of your mail that you access through you know, a service like Gmail or Hotmail, Though the contents of those messages are things that you can access using your web browser, that's why it's browser-based mail, but are not available to search engines. You hope not, because you don't want people to be able to search through your mailbox using a public search engine. Um, other examples of content are stuff that's behind paywalls, uh, uh, you know, newspaper uh, articles, and some of that they may allow or try to make sure that robots can access and index so that you can find it using a search engine, but in certain cases it's not available in that way. Um, other examples, streaming video, various types of music content that you can sort of uh, uh, access through your browser. So there's actually quite a bit of the content. Uh, most of the stuff on Facebook, for example, falls into the deep web category where it's trapped inside this sort of proprietary ecosystem um, and is not accessible to search engines like Google and other things. So, so the deep web, not a particularly mysterious place, not a particularly, you know, um, it's not like a, a sort of a, a legal place. It's just lots of content that's available online, but that requires some sort of authorization or a payment or some type of authentication process to access, and therefore cannot be viewed just by a robot that's crawling the web. The dark web, on the other hand, typically refers to content that is available on the internet that cannot be accessed through a standard web browser. So the dark web, um, so you know, if, if we think about the deep web, let's say, requires authentication of some kind, that's, that's typical to the deep web. On the other hand, the dark web um, you know, requires special software. This might be peer-to-peer -peer software like Tor or other tools that people use to share various types of uh, sort of content with each other. And the content that's available on the dark web um, is content that you can imagine is there for a reason. There's a reason that it's not available on sort of the light web. Um, it's because maybe it's illegal content, maybe it's copyrighted. So the music that you can access via a peer-to-peer -peer music sharing tool, might that content might be considered to be part of the dark web. It's illegal, it's not supposed to be available, and you need a special piece of software, in this case that particular peer-to-peer -peer music sharing tool, to access it. Um, and there's all sorts of stuff on the dark web. Pretty much anything that you know people want um, and anything that people are willing to pay money for, uh, anything that you know you can put online is there and you can use your imagination to think about all the different types of things that you might find on the dark web. Now the dark web is not entirely a place that's devoted to illicit activities. Uh, for example, some of the transfers of information between whistleblowers and journalists might occur on the dark web and that's done for reasons of privacy. They're trying to keep those uh, transactions secret. They're trying to make sure that whatever government or organization the whistleblower is calling out uh, doesn't view the content or can't access the content while it's being transferred and other things. So deep web, all the content that's out there on the internet you can access through your web browser but requires some type of authentication, so Facebook, your email, Google Docs, you know, videos you have to pay for, whatever. Dark web, content that requires some sort of special piece of software to access. So for example, the music that you can, the uh, copyrighted music that you can exchange using some sort of peer-to-peer -peer music sharing client. Um, a lot more illicit content on the dark web, but not entirely devoted to illicit activities.